Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotWorld.com, and this is your weekly oracle card reading. And for this reading, I'm using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Victoria Mosley. Okay, so I think I'm going to do a three-card reading for today's reading. And I just want to get um, a little bit of an idea of the theme of this upcoming week. Okay, so I think I'll just zoom out so we can actually see all the cards. Okay. Okay, so we'll start with the first card, which represents Monday. I think I'm gonna see it. Oh, excuse me. Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. Okay, so we're starting off on a really good note. We've got Union. Now, the Union card... Um, Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn all the cards over. I think I'm going to have a look at all the cards. We've got Union. We've got Healing. And we've got Playfulness. So I want you to just take a moment. Have a look at all three cards together. And just notice which card you're more drawn to. Which card kind of pulls you in. Which card feels the most intriguing to you. Whatever this card is, this is the card that has kind of a special message for you in this reading. I mean, all the cards are going to have a message for you. But the card that you're most drawn to is might be more pertinent or more relevant to what's going on for you right now. So the first card we have is Union. And like I said, this kind of represents the beginning of the week. Um, and I feel like this has multiple meanings. Um, so I feel like for some of us, this is going to be about coming together with another person. Um, so this could be something romantic. Um, it could be simply meeting or making a new friend or, you know, spending time with other people. Um, it could be about kind of meeting up with someone who shares your vision for things. So sharing the same kind of ideas and beliefs or someone who wants to kind of collaborate on a project with you. But whatever it is, there's some kind of like getting together here at the beginning of the week. Um, I feel like socializing and kind of getting out of the house, being with other people is going to be what's going to help most of us at the beginning of the week. So that will be important for you. Um, the other meaning is that this union isn't necessarily union with someone on the outside. It could be union um, with two aspects of yourself. So um, kind of the joining or the meeting of two uh, formerly conflicting aspects of your inner self. So it could be like, you know, your inner rebel finally um, kind of makes peace with your um, inner people pleaser <laughs> or something like that. Um, so for those of you who are doing a lot of, you know, shamanic work or a lot of inner work, then this is what this card might, might actually mean for you, especially if the, the part about, you know, union with another person doesn't resonate. Okay, so then moving on to the middle of the week, we have healing. So this is actually really, um, it goes nice with the first card because um, when you have union, you do have, healing often results from that, especially when you're able to integrate, you know, different parts of yourself and you're able to sort of feel whole again. That's when healing can really start to take place. Um, so the middle of the week is all about healing. And um, for some reason, I want to say <laughs> that it's going to be important um, for you to kind of rest and be gentle with yourself. But I feel like more importantly, um, it's just important to remain kind of vigilant and aware of what kinds of things feel healing and nourishing for you and which kinds of things feel the opposite of that. So things that feel... Um, unpeaceful or uh, draining or just like unpleasant um, 
you know, those are the things that you want to just be aware of and see if you can avoid those things for the most part and kind of focus most of your time and energy on doing activities that feel really uh, healing and really uh, nourishing for you. I feel like there's more to say with this card. Um, so I think I'll come back to it, but I want to move on to the last card, which represents kind of the tail end of the week. So like the weekend, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and this card says playfulness. And I really like this card. Um, and it's nice to get a card that says playfulness on the weekend. Um, so the end of the week is about kind of, um, you know, letting off steam, having some fun, not taking things too seriously. Um, it kind of seems like, um, the week leading up to this, you know, you're doing some good work here. You know, the healing is happening. Um, I feel like there's a lot of kind of important shifts that will be happening this week. Most of them internal kinds of shifts, but of course, internal shifts always show up as external shifts in your life eventually. But I feel like a lot is kind of happening under the surface for you. And so then when you get to the weekend, it's important to really kind of you know, uh, kind of let go of things and have kind of a playful sort of childlike approach and don't take things um, too serious, too seriously. So um, when I look at this card, I think of, you know, doing activities that just feel really fun, like, I don't know, making cookies or like just being outdoors, I think, for many of us kind of inspires that feeling of playfulness. But doing whatever you need to do to kind of um, let go of that serious mental attitude that you may have been carrying, um, you know, throughout the week. <laughs> so, so playfulness is, is about um, just like enjoying life, enjoying being in a body, having fun, exploring, um, you know, laughing, having a sense of humor and stuff. Um, you don't, you don't have to do a lot of inner reflecting this weekend you can just kind of relax and sort of have fun and take kind of a break from that okay so i'm gonna take a step back here i think there's more that i wanted to say definitely about the healing card um and what i'm noticing here actually is that the two ladies on um, either end are kind of um you know looking various directions but the lady in healing in the center is looking right at you she's looking right at us directly and I feel like the message here is that if healing is to take place you do need to look at certain things directly it's no longer you know acceptable or um, reasonable to, to just sort of beat around the bush or not look at something directly and you may have been doing this for a time about a particular issue you know not wanting to face it head-on just kind of letting it be there in the background until you figure out what you're gonna do about it um, but if healing is gonna happen you actually do have to um, look at it directly and face it head-on um, and this is not as difficult or as brutal as it sounds. <laughs> so if union happens, if there's that, um, and this actually could be very pertinent to relationship issues. If you're having relationship issues, you need to um, have that union first. You need to bond, you need to connect before healing in the relationship is gonna take place. So before you do some of that deep work on your relationship and talk about some issues and face those issues, you need to have this like union um, aspect first. And then once that healing has taken place, once you face some of those issues head on, that's when the fun happens, that's when playfulness occurs. And I almost feel like um, playfulness is kind of like a relief, like you do all this um, kind of important work and then ha, huh, you get to kind of celebrate and kind of kick back on the weekend. And that's when things start to feel really um, fun and light is when you're able to kind of deal with some of the stuff that may have been kind of weighing you down over the week or over the last month or two. And once you're able to kind of work through that, it's like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders and you have, you know, energy and, and enthusiasm to just be kind of light and happy and fun again. So this has been your weekly Oracle card reading. Once again, my name is Kate. 
I'm from dailytarotgirl.com and I was using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle for this reading. Um, and please feel free to add your own interpretations or observations in the comments below. I always love reading how other people um, have seen and interpreted these cards. So thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week.